Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you're doing well. And today I am doing a get ready with me video. A little scary and I've put it off for a long time. I'm super jazzed that Scentbird is supporting my channel by sponsoring this video. Um, it's perfect because perfumes and colognes are a part of my everyday routine. Um, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service and their mission is to empower every person to express themselves through scent. It's like finding your signature scent, but with Scentbird, you get to try lots of different scents without investing in the full-size cologne or perfume, which is very expensive. Scentbird is your fragrance destination, a single place to discover and explore and learn and experience scents just for you. Um, Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance every month for only $17. Every month you get to pick out what you want to receive so there are no surprises. They have a really informative questionnaire um, that you can take to kind of find out what suits you best, but you can always try any fragrance you want. They have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options as well. So, my husband doesn't have a sense of smell at all, so I pick out his colognes and aftershave smells and things like that. So, with um, each fragrance you get about a 30-day supply to try out these fragrances before you commit to spending 100, 150, or even more, sometimes three to five hundred dollars. So, um, Scentbird carries brands like some of my favorites, Prada, Gucci, um, Versace, and I just bought a full-size Versace when we were traveling. It's like, Arr! and they have it. Um, and they have indie labels as well, like Skylar, um, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. So use my coupon code to get 55% off at Scentbird.com. It's just a little over $7 for your first month. And this is available in the U.S. and Canada right now. This month, I received three. I got three cents. And the first one is English Laundry's Pink Brilliance. Now look at this. They come in these beautiful cases that actually lock. Now, this one smells like you're walking through an English garden. It's very feminine and very floral. Um, pink roses, orchids, a little bit of citrus. And this one I actually spray on my bed um, because I love the scent and I like to go to bed at night and have a little, you know, nice scent on my sheets. The next one I got, and this is what they look like inside the little case. You just put this in, and this is Amouage's Honor. And I love this one as well. It's floral and gentle and creamy and warm, if that makes any sense. And, oh my gosh, it's so lovely. I will be ordering this in the full size. I love this so much. 
And the last one I got is Hope Night. And this is... Oops. Oh, this is so nice. It's got... It's a very warm scent with amber and vanilla. Um, a bit of patchouli and plum. It's something I would wear out definitely at night. It's very sensuous. Um, I will put the links to the, these three scents that I got this month. I love these and um, I really chose well. So thank you again Scentbird for sponsoring my channel and supporting videos like these. This is so fantastic. Um, perfumes and colognes are definitely a part of my routine every single day. So um, again, click on the link at scentbird.com and use the promo code that we are putting in for you. Now, you want to see how I got this look, this everyday look? in my get ready with me. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you. Here I am, barefaced, um, straight out of the shower and ready to show you what I do with regard to my makeup. Now, because my um, face dries really fast out of the shower, I had to quickly put some moisturizer on it. Um, but the first thing I put on it is a vitamin C serum. And then the second, I let that dry. And then I do a hyaluronic acid, you know, something or other. And then I do, um, I like this, even though it's an oil-free to fill and I'm just going to put some on right now and I'll let that dry for a minute. Now what I'm doing today is what I do very quickly most mornings. If we were going out to something special um, I take a little more time, do a little more you know frou-frou stuff um, okay, that's kind of dry now. Now, this is something I'm absolutely passionate about is sunscreen. So, um, I use, right now, La Roche-Posay. Um, double repair face moisturizer. I could use quadruple <laughs> repair, but, uh, I just absolutely believe in sunscreen. Uh, ears. Don't forget ears. And then, now, we have a very gray day, but the sun still comes through, so I make sure to get my decollete area. So I've got a mirror right here that I'll be looking into. And all my makeup in this kind of this box that I keep on near my sink. Now, the last thing I do before I start is I use a hydrating essence, kind of a spritz. It's by Dr. Brandt. And it's just a quick. everything nice and moist. Uh, and now I'm ready for my, um, it's kind of a primer, it's pure four-in-one. And it's layerable, but um, I don't layer a lot of 
have makeup. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, so, I mean, so I just get it on. So I've got my little black, slightly damp sponge, and I'm just going to blend this in. I don't do a lot on my forehead because I know I've said this lots of times, I have dry skin and I don't want it to flake. And since I have bangs, just got out of the shower so my hair is still wet. I hope it doesn't uh, stick straight up after doing this. So then after the primer, and this is the order I do it in that just works for me. I don't know if it's correct or not, but I don't care. Um, the next is my foundation. And um, I use, this is Forever Skin Glow by Dior. It just, um, I've had this, it, look at that, it's all the way down to here. I've used this for a long time. And I just use maybe a pea size amount. And I take that, put it on my sponge, and just kind of go in certain areas like my dark circles and I make lots of weird faces um, the nice thing about uh, where is it this pure is it's got kind of a sheen to it a, a glow and I'm really careful about too much shininess or, you know, um, glittery stuff because older skin, you know, I don't know. I don't think it flatters it too much, but a little dewiness is nice. So. A little breakout. Blend it in, make sure I don't have any lines. That's it. So there's my complexion done. And then next I do my eyebrows because they are very thin and very sparse. Probably from when I plucked them like super thin in the early 70s, you know early to mid 70s it was the fad to have just a very thin line well mine never quite grew back so what I use and I've been on a search for the best eyebrow pencil or eyebrow whatever and I really like this NYX or NYX professional makeup um, it's brow tint pen and it's almost like a oops, wrong side. Just a feathery tinted pen. So I just try to follow the shape of my own eyebrows and make it not so obvious. So Sometimes, without realizing it, I make those Cruella de Vil arch eyebrows, and I don't want that. So, bring down the arch a little. <gasps> and then... And then try to do 
do the same on the other side. Um, ALB in Whisperland did a makeup get ready with me, and she said something that I remember now every time I do this. She said, eyebrows are sisters. They're meant to be sisters, not twins, because it's hard to get an exact duplicate. You get one perfect, then you go back to the other, and make a correction, and then another correction, and then back to the other one, and so then I just brush it with, kind of blend it. Okay. Are those even? I think so. I don't know. So, I like this because it's long wearing and nothing ticks me off more than when I look in the mirror two, three o'clock and half my eyebrow is gone. <laughs> so, so there we go. That's it. Then I do my eyes and I do my eyes first because anything that crumbles off or makes a mess, I, I clean up and then do my blush. So, my eyes. I have lots of palettes and I try not to find things that are too shiny or glittery because I have a lot of skin, you know, and I don't want it getting in the creases and the wrinkles and looking caked and old. So I think I'm going to start with a light color, this right here, and I kind of almost use it like a primer. I go up by the eyebrow, but then all over. So it's a little shiny, but not too much. Okay, now the middle, the, what I do next is typically I just find some kind of brownish, neutral matte for my eyelids, kind of along the brow bone. So, let's see. Since I've got this palette open, I'll just pick from here, I think, because today is just a gonna go do some running around but so I think I'll wear that one right there. This palette is crown. I think I bought this or got this in some sort of you know makeup subscription box. So I got a lot of palettes to choose from. So just load that up and what I do is I kind of shake off the extra so they don't end up on my face. Oh. Now, I'm going to just add a little bit darker straight underneath it. And then, I know this is not blended in well. I just kind of get the color on. And then, I use my fingers to blend it. My finger accidentally touched a glittery one. <laughs> so I had to wipe that off. So I need to put on little more touch up and this is why I do it this way of the foundation just a little bit under my eye because I just wiped it all off it's 
So. Great. I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to use um, really nothing on my lids. It's just not that special of a day today. So I use this brush and it's just got a soft little, you know, bristle on it. And I'm going to use typically a dark brown and where did I get this? I don't remember this palette. And I'm going to use, I use a combination of the black and the brown. My very hygienic way of moistening my brush. It works. And nobody else uses my stuff, so. So I just load it up, mix it up like paint and kind of blend it up. And the reason I like this brush is because it's not a hard line and it covers up any mistakes I do. So, just kind of paint that on. And side and I don't do that um, what do you call those long tails I just I have too much skin and wrinkle and I don't want it to look ridiculous so just a little bit and so the nice thing about using this is I don't get a hard line and it it just blends nicely almost like an eyeshadow. You see it? Now, if I've had a particularly restless night and um, you know, I have super dark circles. So this is the concealer stick I use. And it's just a, like a cream pencil. And I just kind of use it in the, the trough of my eye just to kind of take away some of the darkest shadows. And then I use a curling brush. Now I just got this one and whoops. and it's heated. It's heated. It takes about 30 seconds to heat up. And I don't know that I'm actually sold on this. But, um, so I'll do one with my regular one that I've had forever, and then I'll use that on my other eyelid, or eyelashes. So, just a couple squeezes, working out, because I don't want them to stick straight up. Okay, so now, I think it's warm. It's warm. It's definitely warm. I don't know. I don't think I'm using it right. So I'm going to forget that newfangled thing and go back to my... the one I know. The one I could do with my eyes closed. There we go. And then mascara. And the mascara I've been using lately that I really like is by L'Oreal. And it's cool, watch this, it angles, the, the brush angles. So, 
when I load up my mascara brush, I take a lot off because I don't like that goopy, clumpy look. So I take a lot off. And it just goes on so much more, you know, just more sparingly, more, more natural, not clumpy, much nicer. And then this side. And, yeah, no clumps. Then I'll go back and do a little bit more. Or I missed anything on this side. And then back to the other side. Super easy. And I didn't stab my eyeball, which I often do. Now, I sometimes do the lower lashes just a little bit. Just a little to define them. Can you see that? I've got my window, um, the curtains wide open and just my two lights, so I'm hoping you see. Now, my blush. I use Milk Makeup. It's a, just a contouring, uh, kind of a creamy, I feel a little bit like that. And then <laughs> I use Boom because I bought it, I think, off, I don't know, the internet. I saw some commercial and I bought it. It's just the Boom color stick. And I do that, kind of at the top. And then I blend that in with, with this brush. That's it. And I have to make a face like that because if I don't, the wrinkles show, you know, it, it doesn't get even coverage. So, okay, so I've got it blended, but not perfectly. So then I use a brush for the very last part. And this is, ha you know, this is the same one I use every day. And so it's got color on it. So I use it all over my face just to make sure I have no lines, um, makeup lines, that everything's blended. It takes a little bit off and so that's it. Check that I haven't got mascara somewhere and yeah, everything looks good. And then my lips. So for lipstick, this early in the morning, typically I just use, a, you know, just a regular tube of lipstick. I've got tons. Um, lately I've been, yes, Lip Sense by Senegence. And I've been experimenting with some colors, and so this is kind of like a long wear lipstick, and I would say almost all day, but uh, so it's kind of a light pink. So you let this dry, and then you do another coat.
And that is my makeup routine. Um, without talking, I get it done a lot faster, you know, but with talking and stopping and whatnot. Um, so, there I am. I hope you can see it. I hope the lights aren't too bright and reflecting, but this is my look. And so, now I'm going to go work on my... Now I'm going to go work on my hair. And when I wash my hair in the shower, um, before I get out, I put conditioner, you know, leave-in conditioner on it, and then wrap it up in this um, nice towel. And... When my hair is up and wet like this, you can see my skunk stripe. See that? I've had this skunk stripe since I've been in my 20s. So, but I don't wear my hair back like that. I wear it down. So, I have to go dry it. Because oh, it's already starting to stick up. So, I have to go quickly put some mousse on it and get that to rebend. Now, every morning, as soon as I'm getting ready and, and I'm done, I spray myself with perfume. And I start it in my robe, like this, because I like when I put my robe on in the evening, I've got a little bit of the scent. And so I'm going to use what I just got from Scentbird. And I love how this opens. Just put it in there, like that, boom. And it even locks. So this is English Laundry, which I love, I love. And it smells so fresh and clean. So put it back together. else I do is I spray my sheets or my bedding with a couple of sprays oh two three times a week because I like the scent when I go to bed and uh, you know it's just a little bit I don't consider it wasteful because I like it and I like the scent so English laundry is one of my favorites I appreciate oh, Scentbird sponsoring this video, this uh, get ready with me. So tell me what you think in the comments. Don't be too harsh. Um, now, time to go get dressed and do my hair. That's it. And go grocery shopping. So, thank you. And... I know this was a long time coming, but it was kind of fun, kind of girly girly. Although, I don't want to say girly girly because there's a guy who I love, Johnny Ross. He works at Sephora, I think. He has all those Sephora. Oh, if I could get him to do my makeup, if any of you know him, send him my way. I'm in love with him. His makeup is the best. sign off for now. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. I bid you so much peace, so much health, so much wellness, and 
so much love. I do. Bye for now. <laughs>